This question is about uh, protein structure and uh, folding process. So generally proteins uh, they will get into their low energy native conformation by undergoing uh, folding uh, which are generally assisted by certain proteins and one of the major uh, protein that will be assisting in protein folding is chaperones and chaperonins. These are this is a family of proteins which will be uh, helping in folding process for a native newly synthesized protein molecules in this process in this uh, folding process so the polypeptide chain that is the primary structure of a protein it will be getting into secondary structure so generally the secondary structure are uh, alpha helix and beta sheets and beta bends and turns so the question is about uh, in a protein secondary structure the reverse turns the beta turns are a reverse turn is initiated by which of the following amino acid sequence that's the question here so generally wherever you see the turns in uh, in the secondary structure of a protein molecule see the alpha helix uh, which is the regular uh, bending of alpha uh, regular uh, alpha helix structure it will be uh, broken basically the helix is broken by appearance of certain amino acids at certain positions so the question is wherever there is a particular alpha helix is broken so that's a helix uh, breaker amino acid which will be breaking the alpha helix structure so that is going to induce a turn or a bend in a polypeptide chain that's a kind of uh, minor secondary structure so apart from alpha helix and beta sheets wherever bends and turns are there these are also a type of uh, secondary structures so some of the amino acids will be initiating this type of bends and turns so the question is which all those amino acids so the first choice choice a says it is isoleucine and leucine note that isoleucine and leucine both are branched chain amino acids and they are the part of alpha helix or beta sheet they are not going to induce any bends and turns so that's not a uh, correct choice so it's a wrong choice there now the alanine and uh, phenyl alanine so alanine and phenyl alanine alanine is an aliphatic nonpolar amino acid phenyl alanine is a uh, aromatic nonpolar amino acid so basically they can also be part of alpha helix and beta sheets and they are not going to induce any bends and turns so that's why it's not it's it's also a not a correct answer so choice c says phenyl alanine tyrosine similar to the choice b so phenyl alanine tyrosine both are aromatic amino acids phenyl alanine is non polar aromatic amino acid tyrosine is a basically it's a polar uncharged uh, aromatic amino acid so they are also they doesn't lead to bends and turns glycine and tyrosine glycine is a simplest amino acid and it is commonly found in uh, bends and turns but it is not the one which is inducing the bends and turns so that's why glycine and tyrosine is also not correct choice now the option e proline and glycine note that proline proline is a special amino acid because uh, proline doesn't have primary amino group it has got what is called as secondary amino group so because the amino group alpha amino group it's going to make a bond with the side chain groups so thereby it will be creating a rigid ring so that's why it is a amino acid rather than amino acid so it has got a secondary amino group because of this rigid ring it cannot be accommodated in a smooth alpha helical structure so wherever proline come across in a polypeptide chain alpha helix structure it will be broken broken in the sense that alpha helix it will stop there wherever proline come across and it induces turns or bends in a polypeptide chain and note that when whenever there is a turn and bend so being in that turn and bend so the the small little place that is available in turn and bends it will can be accommodated by glycine because glycine is a simple amino acid so being simple and short uh, small amino acid glycine can be accommodated there so in bends and turns generally you are going to see proline and glycine so gen in generally speaking in bends and turns there will be four amino acids so in among these four amino acids commonly you are going to see proline 
that is for sure because proline is a helix breaker it is the one which is initiating the bends and turns and along with proline generally you see glycine because it's a small amino acid it can be accommodated there so option e appears to be correct choice here now the alanine and alanine option f so alanine and alanine both are aliphatic amino acid so so alanine is an aliphatic amino acid nonpolar it doesn't going to lead to bend proline and proline so proline is basically it induces bend but along with proline there won't be any uh, another proline that will be present there generally it will be glycine which is present there so that's why it's not a correct choice glycine and glycine so glycine it doesn't induces bend but it is commonly found in bends so that's why this combination is also incorrect so in that sense option e appears to be a correct choice